All right, everyone. Welcome to Sunday with the Smith Brothers. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how the kids are today. You know, um, with work and expectations and just all of that. We're probably going to go through quite a few decades because we're going to talk. Up, we're going to compare, basically. By basically what the what the, the the Gen Z, what they are compared to those Gen Xs, you know, um, you know, old school guys, you know, people, man, because you know the kids these days, they might be a little technical savvy, but then they're not street smart. They don't they don't know how to really, uh, you know, handle situations. They get any little thing, man. They get emotionally disturbed or distressed or a depression. Man, get out of here, man. You know, when we when we were growing up, guys, as Gen uh, X guys. People, women and, and men, I mean, you know, we went to, they, they want to be emotional about something? Shoot, man, try getting smacked across the room or something, man, if you didn't do something right, man. Or if you, uh, you you were disrespectful in any way, out in public or just to anybody. And uh, so I'll let my brother, t today, uh, my brother's going to pretty much lead this, and I'll just I'll just chime in whenever, you know, like, you know, I can. All right, brother. So pretty much where I see where it all started was... The early 90s when the court gave power to the kids and back then we mean they gave power to the kids any kid could say they could have their best friend punch him in the face and then go to the cops and be like my dad or my mom hit me you what? know just because they were pissed and and the cops would believe the kids. And so therefore, with that, all, all parents were afraid. So there was no discipline that they could give because they were afraid that they would go to jail if they disciplined their kids. Well, that was not true. like not like back when we grew up. Heck yeah, man! You you didn't even act like I mean, <coughs> disrespectful in any kind of way, man. You got smacked. I mean, you were you you were instilled discipline and morals and respect and that's it right and, and where i think it happened was it trickled from that because those kids growing up in the 90s now have kids that are growing up through 2010 into the 20s and because there's it's a it's a slide effect which I know, sucks. But, uh, I know because, because because here it is the parents in the nineties they were afraid to discipline their kids because they were afraid of being arrested. So therefore those kids did not get the punishments that came to them. And they re they realized they could get away with whatever they wanted, as long as they blamed some uh, an adult, yeah, a man, parent see, or that's, whatever. That's what I don't know why. And then and then now those kids have kids, and their kids, all they know is internet, cell phones. Uh, they don't they don't know what a rotary phone is. They, Man, I know, you right? know what, I, and 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 their work ethics. They think that everything should be handed to them, and no, I I, I mean you got to work for what you get. And then at any given time, you know, if anything they don't like, you're all oh, emotional instability or whatever you know whether thing like and you know, all emotionally scars. Man, whatever, man. Look, shoot, man, growing back like we did, man. Just Gen X's. Shoot, man, you want to talk about, man, I don't know, man, any little thing they complain about today, and they like, oh, poor me, poor me, I don't know, man, got to see mental health, it, it's just no matter what happens in the world, or, or around, you know, any little thing, a war or something, at all, they got anxiety, you know, and then this, right. uh, this, uh, this, uh, the media, everything, right, yeah, these guys are like freaking, you know, low self-esteem, because they watch too much of it, and I don't even get what that is, so luckily, we were, we were back in the day when we didn't have that kind of crap. 
Man, we were out there building forts, playing army. I mean, we, man, jumping bikes, man, making rent. I mean, we were doing all kinds of stuff. Now, these kids these days on video games and all this, they, they well, just don't well, know about this. Well, you know, shit. here's the thing. I, I, I can kind of... I can kind of relate. Unfortunately, the way the world has evolved is the kids nowadays cannot go out and experience what we did. Where on a Saturday and Sunday, you woke up at 7 in the morning and you left the house and you went riding the bike in the neighborhood with your friends. I know, buddy. You went riding the neighborhood with your friends on your bikes you went out in the woods you played fort and everything and when the street lights came on that's when you knew it was time to come home all right buddy stop but because there's so many idiot disgusting messed up people out there that will take the kid now and and i i mean it happened back when we were kids but not as often as it happens now. So I can I can understand parents not wanting to let their kids outside, but you know what? Don't stop me. So you just I think they need to come to a point. You know what? Let your kids go out ride their bikes instead of sitting in playing on video games and doing this or whatnot. You know what? Sit out there and watch them. Well, you know what? I'm sure a lot of parents want to do that, man. But the kids are so that they're conditioned to the playing the video games, online stuff, and uh, things like that. But I mean, look at it this way. You know, all you guys out there are age, you know, Gen X, right? Okay, you could take uh, any one of us, drop us off anywhere in the United States. Okay, not knowing nobody, know nothing. You drop us off in a month's time, we'd have a job and we'd have a place to live. You know, just like that. Now, imagine if anything happened to these guys, these kids these days. I mean, we, we you knew, I say street smarts just ain't like, you know, uh, you know, drug dealing or nothing like that. Street smarts are just common sense. Just, I mean, because the world back when we were growing up was just a lot different. It was a lot more real than now, man. Now it's like, man, I, I'm trying not to get into politics because they, they were messing everything up. If politicians don't wake up, then it might be a civil war. But um, anyway, uh, what I was saying, but you catch any one of these kids, man, you drop them off anywhere. They ain't gonna, if they had to live out on the street somewhere, there ain't no way they would survive. They wouldn't know what to do. Now, us, you know, I mean, my brother and I, you know, I'm 53. <coughs> He's up 50, 51, I mean, something like that. But I mean, and, you, and most of all that can see this, that I know, we're, we're around the same age. And a lot of people, that if you see it, and we appreciate it, are our age too. We could, they could drop us off anywhere. Man, we'll all survive. Now imagine the kids these days. What what happens if it, the grid power grid goes down or, or just whatever something happens? Man, any little thing, man, they get emotional about. Going, oh, you know, I mean, I don't know. But just any little thing, man. Oh, you know, they get emotional and get stressed or depressed about it. Stuff I'm like, man, what? Man, just right. grow up like we did. Right, they do. And 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 one of my biggest issues is the work ethic. You know, I'm, I mean, they need to get a job, but yet if something doesn't go their way. Yeah, they will cry like a little baby. I quit. Or they start blaming this person, that person, this situation. And it's like, no, you know what? You were hired, hired to do a job, do your job. Yeah. yeah, and and when it doesn't go your way, don't just be like, oh, oh, everyone's against me. No, they're not. Yeah, I forget. It's I life. Think, yeah, I forget uh, real quick. Uh, my brother, you know, he's you know he was a general manager uh, up north stuff, so he had a lot of dealings with these guys, you know, people. So I I really don't know, man. I know the the Gen Xs I know, or people I know, man. Freaking, you know, they just they they don't got no work ethic. They don't they they're not motivated. They're like whatever. I mean, you know, they're like not Gen X. Well, Gen Z, Gen Z. I know I'm Gen X. I was man, I was just ragging on this. No, Gen Z. Man, those kids they, they don't they're not motivated. They're like worried about like oh what what am I gonna do in life? You know, or what financial situations or whatever that makes them anxiety and depressed. 
man, what? Then you just get out there and you do what you got to do to take care of what you got to take care of. And, you know, all the fathers out there. But, well, I do have to interrupt and disagree with you. It's not Gen Z. It's the millennials. Well, they're after think, Gen Z, right? Who, That's what you were saying. Right. right. It's the millennials. All right. So if the Gen Z is fucked up, that, I mean, uh, excuse my language. Uh, I feel it's the Gen they right. think everything everything should be handed to them. And no, I I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm, no, I mean, means. you have to work for what you get. You can't just. I'm, I mean, I mean, you can just sit well, there and pout yeah, and flow through life, quit get, this job yeah, and yeah, go for another job. Yeah, lean on the government, get handouts or whatever. And. You know? You know, and I, I I understand that right now I, everything is so expensive. College. I, I'm. I, I, I know you tell him, buddy, bud. Guys, you guys don't be quiet. You're not going to be sitting on the next one. Oh, sh shut up. He's speaking too. All right. But All anyway. Right, so, and, and, and I know college is hard Come to on, do. Guys, stop, buddy. But. You know, just just keep trying, and and there's always a way. You may think that there's not, but there is. I I mean, every decade for God, since beginning of time, I would think has figured a way. To make it happen for you. But just. Just keep in mind. Don't let that. One person. Drag you down. Because. They're alone. And they just want someone to be with them. So. Fight that. And. Try and help them. And if they can't be helped. Then. Move on and worry about your life because what it all comes down to is it's either you or them. And you know, which one are you going to choose? And listen, man, you know what? Basically, it comes down to uh, being an adult, being a human being. Okay, you have to take control. You have to govern yourself accordingly. Okay, you just, you know, Rob, and, you know, I mean, you know, looting and, and all this, you know, there's these gang activities and stuff. Man, you know, I, I don't know, but you have to go <coughs> at some point in life. You got to realize, hey, I'm tired of this because, you know, all, all them guys, all, all them these Gen Z people, man, these kids, man, they're doing crime, you know, little thugs, gangs. Yeah, they're all tired of it inside their minds. They're tired of it. They just don't know what to do about it. But it comes to a point that you just have to. I mean, I, I remember when I was younger, teenager, growing I was like, oh, poor me, because, you know, we had a rough childhood, I mean, an abused childhood. You know, nothing sexual, you just, be, you know, but anyway, um, but you, you have to get over that, saying like, oh, because I was like, poor me, you know, I mean, my, because of my childhood, I was abused. No, you get to a point where you just got to be like, hey, yeah, that sucks, it was too extreme, but you got to get past that, you just have to be a freaking man, okay? You know, you, you know, you guys, you got... Man, okay, man, I got different things I want to say, but you, you just have to get to the point where, man, you don't want to look, have people look at you like, like you, you know, like you're freaking, you know, that they don't want to be around you, like you're a thug. I mean, you know, you want people to respect you and like you and stuff, but in the only way that's going to happen is how you govern yourself, how you, you act accordingly. I mean, you know, with morals, respect, uh, be compassionate, have empathy for people. And, for, and number one of that I always say Everybody's equal across the board, whether it's somebody low down here or CEO, okay? Everybody is equal no matter what, okay? Because you don't know what they went through, you know, and, uh, you know, they, they, they're they feeling lonely. Or they're, they're going through their own mental thing. All you can do is be compassionate, you know, maybe give them words of encouragement if it comes about, and, you know, do whatever you can, you know. But, I mean, but first you got to start with yourself, too. You know, and my brother and I, we're learning as we go. I mean, we, we're, we're not perfect, obviously. You know, we're dealing with our issues, but I mean, you know, as we go through, we, we try to help people out that, you know, maybe just not come as far as we did. I, you know, as far as, uh, you know, mentally. But, um, all right. Well, anyway, I don't know. I'm going to my brother right now. Stop, man. Come on, man. You're ruining our, you're ruining all our right. deal, man. So,
to sum it all up for this episode is no matter who you are, make sure you're true to yourself and you don't let anyone try to make you think who you are and you're not. So just take it all upon yourself and and just be the best that you can do. And come on, guys. All right, and, you know, we'll leave you with this. Well, no, the puppies agree with us. That's why they're yeah, yeah, Okay. Well, let me leave you with this. Okay. First of all, you know I don't know I don't know how I, how I'm going to word this right, but you need to become a say, buddy, stop me for a sec. Okay. You got you need to become a monster. Okay. A monster means. Okay, that, that freaking, you know, that you, you, Bubba. you're not, you, you, you know, you don't, you don't, man, you don't Buddy. go with the, the, with the, with the, with the crowd. Okay, you, uh, you do your own thing. Um, when I say being a monster, you gotta be aggressive. You can't be weak. Now, I'm not talking about like, you know, like walk around with your chest out and then, and, and being, you know, bully and like, oh, I'll beat your ass or, any, or butt or anything like that. I mean, you gotta be a monster first. You gotta be hardcore. Okay, but then you learn to control it. Okay, I know we're getting what uh, over that, but anyway, you got to learn to control it. Be a monster first, then that way you're not weak, and then you sheathe it like it's like a sword, like like you know you you, you know you have a sword and you're you're mighty and you're powerful, but you can sheathe it and you, you know because you're calm and you're cool, man. How do you govern yourself? And uh, but you be a monster first, and then if anything comes in your way, whether it's mentally, physically, I mean, uh, I mean just whatever. Then you already can deal with everything, but you're you're calm and collective because you're you're a monster first. You can give it as 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 if you need to, as much as it will come to you. But you always want to be cool, and I'll just laid back. But become a monster, be dangerous, but learn to control it, and then that's it, man. You have respect, and you'll be a, you know it'll just do a, a a good thing for your brain. Okay, but, then we're done. That's. That's done with this Sunday. Uh, I guess my brother said, uh, you know, time's Smith, up or something. Sunday with the Smith Brothers. Y'all have a guys. great one. Bye.